So, we meet again. I'm so glad you came back. Uh, we'll get started in the usual five minutes at two o'clock East Coast time. And uh, in the meantime, uh, tell your friends, tell your uh, friends down the street, your enemy down the street, your cousins, your nephews, your nieces, and so forth. Hi, Grant. Uh, to uh, stop by and uh, join us. Hi, Javen and Johan. So glad you can come back to all of you. Um, hi, Katrina. Hi, Abigail and Chester. I'm gonna miss you guys. Hi, Evan in Atlanta. Cody, hey, Cody. Ian and Erica. Yeah, it's really hot outside here too, and I don't know what it's like where you are, but it's like, in the high 90s today, and it's unpleasant. Hey, Jack and John. Hi, Philip. Uh, Alex and Patrick in Ohio. How you doing? Wonder what it's like in Ohio today. Dean, how you doing? Um, hey, while you're sitting there, why don't you type in, uh, hi, Connor and Aiden. Type in the name of your favorite kind of candy. Favorite candy bar or whatever. Hey, Matthew and Ryan. Uh, Lucy, hi. Um, and the Crazy Coopers, hi. Type in your favorite candy so I can see what you guys like to eat. Uh, tell you my favorite. No, I, be, I better not tell you my favorite because then it might, you know, bias you. Hi, Sophie and Steven and Glen Rock and Chris. Uh, Billy. Hi, Billy Sickles. What's your favorite candy bar, Billy? Maddie, Julie, Josh, and Abigail and, and Kanan and Turkey. Turkey. Uh, Kanan, what kind of candy bars do they have in Turkey? I'm wondering. Uh, Srikar, what kind of uh, candy bars do they have there? Caden and Raven and, uh, oh, Joan likes Twix. Okay. <laughs> Reese's. Um, see, I don't like Reese's. I like peanut butter. I, peanut butter. I like chocolate, but I don't like peanut butter and chocolate together. Anyway, that's just me. Okay. We'll get started in about uh, less than three minutes. Hey, Connor. Kit Kats. Oh, yeah. The Markwood crew is here in Florida. Okay. Hi, Molly. Molly likes Twix. Gummy sharks. Hmm. Okay. Uh, hey, Cora, and uh, Eli in, uh, in Oklahoma. Uh, <laughs> now everybody's telling me their everybody's telling me their favorite candy bars. They're scrolling up the screen. You could see them too. <clears throat> okay, uh, what am I doing? I should take a drink of water. Hey, Ryan and Beatrice. <clears throat> Hi, Luke. G and Luca and Matteo. Hey, Philip. We'll get started in uh, exactly two minutes. <sighs> Mississippi. Kira, how you doing? Daniel in Marstown. Gummy bears. Kit Kats, okay. Kit Kat, a lot of Kit, Kit Kat lovers there. Okay, Lyra, hi. I gotta remember to look at the camera. Not my fa My face is over here. My camera's over here. I gotta look at the camera, not my face. Because if I look at my face, then it looks to you like I'm looking elsewhere. I wanna look at you, Ethan. I'm looking at you, Alina in Henderson, Nevada, and Dean. Uh, but I, gotta, I can't read the screen if I look at it. Anyway, enough of that. Uh, we're gonna get started in a little bit more than one minute. One minute before go time. Okay. Hey, Aiden. All right, I know what I'm doing. You guys know what you're doing? Gather around. Any grown-ups in the room today? Or is it just kids? Oh, less than a minute to go, you guys. Are there grown-ups? Anybody have their grandparents with them? Or their parents? Or their aunts or uncles? Hmm. <clears throat> Twizzlers. Oh, I'm not a licorice fan myself, I must admit. Hey, Ayan and Anaya. Jesse. Jesse, you missed some of these read alouds? How could that be? We're going to get started in less than 30 seconds, you guys, okay? Still time to get some, you know, some of your friends in here. We've got 135 of us in here right now. It's getting crowded. Okay. Oh, 10 seconds, or 12 seconds, all right? Okay, 10 seconds now, all right? You can count it down if you want. Three, two, one. It's go time, baby. Hi, I'm Dan Gutman. I'm the guy who writes the My Weird School series. 
and other books for kids as well. And welcome to number 90 in my weird read aloud. Yes, we've been doing this for 19 weeks now. Yes, welcome. And let's get right to our question of the day. And a number of people asked me this question, which is, which book are you going to read next week? Which will be our, our last week of doing this together. Which book are you gonna read? And the answer is, I'm not sure yet. I'll decide sometime this week what the next book will be, okay? All right, I'll let you know when I'm ready. Okay, so, but this week our book is going to be Mr. Sonny is Funny. And I chose this book because it's a summer book. It's one of the few My Weird School books that takes place outside of school, and it's in the summertime, so I thought it'd be appropriate. Uh, this is number two in the My Weird School Days series. And it came out in 2008, so it's been out for a, quite a while. Some of you have read it, some of you haven't. It's 14 chapters long, which is also one of the longest. It's not so much the book is longer, but has more chapters than most of the other books. But some of them are short, and we're going to do three of them today, and we will finish the book on Friday, as we always do. Okay, that's all I have to say. Let's get started reading, okay? Gather around your big screen TV, your laptop, your tablet, your smartphone. Let's do this thing. Chapter one, which is titled, Yippee! A lot of exclamation points there. I apologize for the sound of the garbage truck outside. Okay. And the motorcycles and the sirens as always. My name is AJ and I hate school. But I don't care about school anymore. You know why? Because last week I graduated from second grade at elementary school. And third grade doesn't start until September. And here's Jim's picture of all the kids at their graduation ceremony throwing their, uh, their caps in the air. They're happy. <clears throat> you know what that means? That's right, it's summertime. I don't have to worry about school for three whole months. Yippee! Before school ended, my teacher, Mrs. Daisy, told us to write about our favorite season. We had to read our essays in front of everybody. My favorite season is spring, wrote Andrea Young, this annoying girl with curly brown hair. The sun is out, flowers are blooming, birds are chirping, butterflies flit to and fro. It fills me with joy and happiness. I hate Andrea. What is her problem? Everybody knows the best season of all is summer. That's the first rule of being a kid. Summer blows the doors off the other seasons. You know why summer is so great? Because you don't have to sit still all day. You don't have to pledge the allegiance or have circle time or learn word of the day. You don't have to line up in ABC order and walk in single file. Teachers don't yell at you and you can't be sent to the principal's office. There's no disgusting cafeteria food to eat. You don't have to read books, no homework. You don't have to learn stuff. My brain hurts from so much thinking all year long. In second grade, I thought my head was gonna explode from thinking too much. During the school year, you have to go to bed early and get up early. In the summer, you can stay up late and get up late. The sun stays out until nine o'clock at night. How does it know to do that? I guess the sun likes summer too. Summer's like three months of recess. You can have water balloon fights, eat saltwater taffy, and play football on the beach. And you don't have to wear a coat or gloves. You can wear flip-flops and shorts with holes in them. Ice cream tastes better. And you don't have to take as many showers because you can go swimming. I love swimming. I'm a great swimmer. In the summer, you could swim all day. Here's uh, Jim's picture of AJ uh, swimming while he's eating an ice cream cone, which is not that easy to do. Plus, in the summer, when you get sunburned, you can peel off your skin. What's cooler than peeling off your own skin? But here's the number one reason why summer is the best season. I don't have to see Andrea Young for three whole months. 
Yippee! Three months is 12 weeks. That's 12 whole weeks with no Andrea. I got a calculator for Christmas and I figured it out. 12 weeks times seven days in a week is 84 days. That's 84 days with no Andrea. And 84 days times 24 hours in a day is 2,016 hours. That's 2,016 hours with no Andrea. And 2,016 hours times 60 minutes in an hour is 120,960 minutes. That's 120,960 minutes with no Andrea. And 120,960 minutes times 60 seconds in a minute is 7,257,600 seconds. That's more than 7 million seconds with no Andrea. Yippee! And I'm going to enjoy every one of them. All right, that's chapter one. Ready for chapter two, which is titled, Hitting the Beach. All right. <clears throat> This summer, my parents rented a beach house. We were gonna share it with my cousins, but they couldn't come. So we'll have a big beach house all to ourselves. The day after school ended, we packed up the car and drove a million hundred miles to the ocean. I can't wait to hit the beach, I said, looking out the car window. I had to sit in the back with my sister, Amy, who was going into sixth grade. She's annoying but not as annoying as Andrea. You better watch out for the sand monster, AJ, my sister said. Sand monster? I never heard of a sand monster. There's no such thing as a sand monster, I said. Oh, yes, there is, Amy told me. He's a zombie who lives under the sand. He comes out when you least expect it. And I hear he only eats boys. I bet Amy was yanking my chain. But I decided to keep my eyes open for a man-eating zombie sand monster just to be on the safe side. And here's Jim's picture of AJ being threatened by <laughs> the artist's conception of a sand monster. We stopped at a Chinese restaurant because there wasn't any food at the beach house. Chinese food is cool because they give you chopsticks. So while you're waiting for the slowpoke grown-ups to finish eating, you can drum on the table or put the chopsticks in your nose and pretend to be a walrus. Finally, we reached the beach house. It was too late to go swimming, but my parents said I could check out the beach while they unpacked our stuff. The ocean smelled good. There was a sign on the boardwalk that said, Sand Castle Contest this week. Up in the sky, somebody was parasailing. You know what parasailing is? A parachute is strapped to your back and a boat pulls you with a rope. Parasailing is cool. I'm gonna try it when I get bigger. The beach was almost empty except for one thing, a backhoe. You know what a backhoe is? It's this yellow machine that digs up stuff. A backhoe was scooping up sand and dumping it into a big pile. I went over to watch because Machines are cool. A teenager was driving the backhoe. He had blonde hair and a whistle around his neck. And here's uh, Jim's picture of uh, the back, the teenager in the backhoe digging up the beach. So that's, that's what a backhoe looks like. <clears throat> Yo, dude. Wait a minute, did I say that? Oh yeah. Yo, dude, he said as he turned off the, mo the motor. My name is Evan, but everyone calls me Mr. Sonny. What's your name? My name is Arlo, but everybody calls me AJ, I said. What are you doing? Building a sandcastle, dude, Mr. Sonny said. I'm going to enter the contest. It looks like a big pile of sand to me. Oh, wait till it's done, man, Mr. Sonny said. Right now, my castle is hidden within the sand, waiting to be born. Sand is my life, dude. Guys who say man and dude are cool. Mr. Sonny seemed pretty nice, even if he did like sand a little too much. Is this your summer job, I asked? You build sand castles? 
No, dude, Mr. Sonny said. I'm the lifeguard here. Will I see you out on the water tomorrow? You bet, I said. I'm a great swimmer. It was getting late. I said goodbye to Mr. Sonny and headed back to the beach house. I have great news, AJ, my mom yelled from the porch. I just got off the phone. One of your friends from school is going to be sharing the house with us. Yippee, I said. Who is it? Ryan? Michael? Neil? No, my mother replied. It's Andrea Young. What? All right, that's chapter two. Ready for chapter three, which is titled Bummer in the Summer. No, not Andrea. Why did it have to be Andrea? Anybody but Andrea. Weren't there any bank robbers or criminals we could share our beach house with? Little Miss Perfect Know-It-All is so annoying. She thinks she is really smart. I know she'll be hanging around me all summer, bothering me and trying to show off how much she knows about everything. Please don't let Andrea come here, I begged my parents. Please, 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 please. Saying the word please over and over again will usually make grown-ups give you anything you want. Nobody knows why. But it didn't work this time. AJ, you be nice to Andrea, my mother told me. Her mother and I are good friends. I don't get it. Why do I have to be friends with somebody just because her mom and my mom are friends? It's not fair. The next morning, a car pulled into the driveway. And guess who got out? Little Miss Annoying and her parents. Andrea was wearing pink sunglasses and a bathing suit that had butterflies on it. <laughs> Here's Jim's picture of Andrea getting out of the car. <laughs> Hi, Arlo, said Andrea, who calls me by my real name because she knows I don't like it. Isn't this going to be a great summer? It was going to be a great summer, I said, but then you showed up. That's not nice, Arlo. Neither is your face, I told Andrea. <laughs> My mother told me to be a gentleman and carry Andrea's suitcase upstairs for her. What do you have in here, rocks? I asked. No, silly, Andrea said. Books. It's my summer reading. Every summer, I set a goal for myself. This year, my goal is to read the complete works of Shakespeare. You're going to read about a guy who shakes a spear, I asked. William Shakespeare is the most famous writer in history, Andrea said. If you opened a book once in a while, you'd know that, Arlo. Hey, I opened a book once, I said. And then I closed it. What? Why? She asked. Because there were words inside. Andrea picked up one of her dumb Shakespeare books and started reading out loud. To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether tis nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune or to take arms against a sea of troubles and by opposing End them. Isn't that lovely, Arlo? Andrea asked. Zzzz, I said, pretending to be asleep. That Shakespeare guy made no sense at all. The question isn't to be or not to be. I'll tell you what the question is. Do you want ice cream or cake? That is the question. Trick biking or skateboarding? That is the question. TV or video games? That is the question. Would it be better if a piano or an elephant fell on Andrea's head? That is the question. Andrea lined up her dumb books on a shelf in ABC order. Hey, maybe we can read together on the beach, Arlo, Andrea said. What did you bring for summer reading? Summer reading? What is her problem? 
Summer and reading are two words that should never be put together in the same sentence. The only reading I brought was a comic book that I finished in the car. It was about a superhero named Mold Man who can turn his body into any shape. He's cool. I bet Mold Man would kick Shakespeare's butt. Andrea's mother said we could go to the beach as long as we came back in time for dinner. Then we'd have to wait an hour before we went swimming again. Mothers always make you wait an hour after you eat before you can go swimming. Nobody knows why. I guess sharks can smell the food in your stomach and will eat you to get it. I showed Andrea how to get to the beach. The backhoe was gone, but Mr. Sonny was out there working on his big pile of sand. He was concentrating so hard that he didn't even notice us. Who's that boy? Andrea asked. That's Mr. Sonny, the lifeguard, I told her. He's a hunk, Andrea whispered. A hunk of what? I asked. He's dreamy. Andrea had on a zombie face. Her mouth was open, and she was making goo-goo eyes at Mr. Sonny. Ugh, disgusting. <laughs> Here's Jim's picture of Andrea seeing Mr. Sonny for the first time. <laughs> All right, well, that is chapter three. Uh, we're going to pick this up tomorrow, starting with chapter four. Mr. Sonny is weird. But uh, before we go, how about our joke of the day? You guys ready for the joke of the day? All right, here it is. Our joke of the day is from Ishan. I hope I pronounced that right. Who lives in New Jersey? And Ishan asked, uh, <clears throat> what kind of a snake likes eating pies? <laughs> huh? What kind of a snake likes eating pies? Pythons. <laughs> Get it? All right. Thanks, Ishan. All right. Let's also thank Josh Salzman and Ryan Cunningham for our theme song. It's time for you guys to get off the couch. Stop staring at screens. You know what time it is. It's this time, baby. That man nuts. All right, you guys. See you tomorrow. Same time, same place. Until then, read like crazy and wash your hands like crazy too. Okay? Bye now.